So a reviewer asked for just a very general reading on the um, deceased queen mother. So we'll see what the cards can tell us, and I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. The Queen Mother, beloved, uh, thrown into a situation she never thought she would be, and uh, came out of it uh, absolutely on top of the world. That's how I feel about it. So, Elizabeth Angela Marguerite Bose Lyon, uh, born the 4th of August, 1900, died the 30th of March, 2002, was Queen of the United Kingdom and the Dominions of the British Commonwealth from the 11th of December, 1936 to the 6th of February, 1952, as the wife of King George VI. She was the last Empress of India. After her husband, the King, died, she was known as Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, uh, to avoid confusion with her daughter, Queen Elizabeth II. She was born into a family of British nobility. Elizabeth came to prominence in 1923 when she married the Duke of York, the second son, son of King George V and Queen Mary. The couple and their daughters, Elizabeth and Margaret, embodied traditional ideas of family and public service. In 1936, Elizabeth's husband unexpectedly became king when his older brother, Edward VIII, abdicated in order to marry the American divorcee, Wallace Simpson. Um, Elizabeth then became queen consort, and during World War II, her indomitable spirit provided moral support to the British public. She was widowed at the age of 51. Uh, her older daughter, uh, age 25, uh, became the new queen. After the death of her mother-in-law, Queen Mary, in 1953, Elizabeth was viewed as the matriarch of the British royal family. She continued an active public life until just a few months before her death at the age of 101, which was seven weeks, seven weeks after the death of her younger daughter, Princess Margaret. Okay, so Nicole Gilroy asks, um, no, not Nicole. Excuse me, Nicole. I didn't mean to get your uh, heart uh, running there. This one is actually Linda Jo. So Linda Jo asks um, to read on the Queen Mother, who, of course, has passed. So we will see what the cards can tell us about that. So this isn't like a question I can ask. This is just wanting to know something about the Queen Mother. So we'll see what the cards uh, come up with, and then we'll... Um, read that and see what the message is. What we can do. Oh, these cards, I love these cards. The artwork is amazing, but they are difficult to shuffle. And I do like to shuffle these cards. It's, for me, it's a very good way to get them mixed up, but we'll do some of this right now. So the Queen Mother, and that's uh, Linda Jo. Linda Jo, you want to know about the Queen Mother. She's gone. Okay, poor thing. Let's let her rest in peace. But uh, we'll see what energy we can get here, what sort of an answer uh, we can come up with for Linda Joe regarding beautiful soul, the Queen Mother. But let's have <laughs> a moment of meditation if I can get these cards to, no, if I can get these cards to work for me. They don't want to spread out. Meditation. Queen Mother, the most recent Queen Mother. What can be told to us about her? I think what I'm going to do, instead of spread these out, because that's not working real well with these cards, is I'm going to deal the cards out. But I'm going to do it from several different uh, stacks. So one, two, three, four. Need six cards. One, two, three, four, five and sixth queen mother what can the cards tell us about her 
you watching. Signifier card, Linda Joe, is, look at that, the mother of swords, the mother of truth, justice, rules, and law. Nice way to signify the Queen Mother. The challenge to that with the Six of Cups is remembering how things were in the past. And I love how it's depicted in this uh, artist's uh, deck with deep, uh, beautiful roots uh, nourishing that, uh, that majestic tree. So um, these are wonderful cards uh, that certainly directly uh, seem to have relevance when you're talking about a Queen Mother. So the Mother of Swords and Deep Roots, remembering how things were. The past, uh, the base of this reading is the Ace of Cups, a great big offer of compassion. She was a great big, lovely, compassionate soul. And in the past of this reading, with this Three of Wands, long-term plans, and that's what she had in mind, get those long-term plans in place. The sky of this reading for the Queen Mother, with this Ten of Pentacles, oh my gosh, these cards are perfect because Ten of Pentacles, Pentacles are value, and the Ten of Pentacles is generational value. Sometimes I say generational wealth, but for me, pinnacles are values so of generational value. This woman is what was needed at the time to set up this future. Okay, she's the mother of swords, deep roots, very compassionate, long term plans, generational value. And the final outcome of this first part of this is sadly the Ten of Swords, which is just telling us that, yeah, her cycle has ended. You know, she did what she had to do, but that came to an end. Okay, four more cards. I'm going to take them like this, just because these cards are hard to deal. Okay. Why do I feel so awkward about this? Okay. The very self of that question about the Queen Mother, Two of Swords having to make a choice. Well, that's what happened. And really, there wasn't. she didn't get to make a choice. The choice was thrust upon her. Truth and justice, rules and law. In the environment of short-term plans. Two of Wands, short-term plans. The, the, uh, the monarchy that they set up. The, the, the reign that they were thrust into. And it was short. Her husband didn't live long. He got the country through a lot. And then he bowed out. And the uh, hopes and the fears for this, with this five of um, wands, five of wands, um, five of wands, I'm going to look it up because I don't want to be uh, stuck forever trying to think about this. Five of wands, assertion, brainstorming, debate. Oh, yeah. This five of wands and the hopes and the fears is um, typically d d depicted by uh, people, five people kind of having a, a little battle with these wands, a little argument, not a death battle, but an unrest. And so the hopes and the fears for that is that's exactly how she came into being the queen by the turmoil that was caused by the abdication. And the final outcome for the queen mother, oh, the devil, that's not a good way to end this up. So ill intention, how does that play into this? Ill intention, being tied to lesser intention. I guess it could sum up the whole reason that she became queen uh, uh, consort uh, is uh, that the uh, movements that thrust her and her husband into that were the ill intentions of the previous uh, sovereign. That sounds right to me, so I'm going to stick with it. Let's read it again. So the Queen Mother, she, Mother of Sons, Mother of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And that anyone who uh, reads about her or who knew her would say, yeah, that sounds right. Um, challenged by long-term, uh, no, putting down deep roots, remembering how things were and how they should be. And the basis of the whole thing was this great big offer of compassion. She was a lovely, compassionate, uh, supportive person for that king and exactly what he needed uh, while he was there. And then the past of this reading with his three of wands, long-term planning, recognizing this monarchy, this uh, uh, family had to be set up for the future. And, uh, and it's just reinforced why in the sky with his Ten of Pentacles, which is generational value. And the likely outcome of the whole thing, of course, is that her, her time is over. It's ended, and she's taking a break, and she's leaving it up to somebody else. I don't think she's behind the scenes pulling strings anymore. She did what she had to do. She was an angel on earth. 
uh, the uh, significance of that uh, of that question is, yeah, a choice had to be made, and it was made, and it was environed of some short-term plans. What were they going to do with their time on the throne? And uh, uh, the hopes and the fears for that were that turmoil that brought them into that position, and also the uh, lesser intentions that thrust them into that position also. So uh, this is what I get for this reading. It may be optimistic. Uh, tell me what you think. Well, regardless, um, no one can doubt that the Queen Mother was a gem and maybe one of the stars in the crown of this royal family. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So this is the Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. And these cards are really nice cards. She's put some very thoughtful messages in this uh, really a nice uh, guide box or guidebook. Uh, or <laughs> packaging that she's included. The guidebook is a really cool quality. The cards are co completely fully depicted here, not in color, but um, you know, there's not much color in the cards anyway. And there's some very thoughtful ideas as to the divination of the cards. So uh, Kim Kranz did a beautiful job with this. Then it's got a, a box within a box. I, I like to call the inner sanctum. Another nice message inside this box and the cards well, there's a little something lacking in the cards, and I'll tell you what it is, is that the uh, quality of them isn't, doesn't make them the easiest cards to use. Um, the cards are thin, um, they don't uh, spread out very well, but the meaning in the cards is unbelievable, and you'll see uh, right here as I put them out for you. All this detail that you see, this is hand-drawn. Every single, all of these lines, all of this repetitiveness that you see in here is um, is Kim Cran's work. Uh, her And so it really makes you feel like some, a lot of thought, a lot of intention went into each and every drawing that you have here. And so, and like I always say, I spread these cards out in the beginning here so that you can kind of get a look at a full deck of cards if you don't collect cards or if you don't see lots of variety of cards all the time. And I'm kind of a crazy person that buys a lot of cards, um, sadly. Um, but um, they make for a very nice... Um, experience when you're doing divination with these cards. Kim Kranz, The Wild and Unknown Tarot. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.